I'm back, and today we are gonna do homework. It's been a while since I did homework, right? So should we start? Mm -hmm. Okay. Name number eight. Okay. Here is the directions. Directions. Fill in the blank to complete each sentence with the plural form of the underlined noun. Plural means more than two. And one is singular.、Mm -hmm. And so let's start. Number one. The farmer counted his chickens. Bah! <laughs> <laughs> He has one red hen and two, two, and two black hens. Like hens, you have to add the s when there's more than one, or two, or three, and it goes on. Anything, any number that's more than one. Okay. So let's start with two now. There is one calf inside the barn. A calf is a baby cow, and then two cow calves. C A. Yeah. 그 calf는 우리 다리 like 그 뒤쪽에 종아리 있지. 종아리랑 발음이 똑같아. Calf, calf, calf. L is silent. 그렇지? 응. 이게 silent고 그리고 여러 개가 되면은 calves, calves 이렇게 돼. And let's move on to number three. Okay. Farmer Brown put his blue rake in the shed with all of the other rakes.、Mm -hmm. Rakes. I'll show you the rakes with my magic. <laughs> rake 언제 쓰는 건데? Like when you're raking up leaves, like there's leaves all over your backyard and you don't like it, then you take out this big fork thingy, and then the ends are curved like that, and then you do this and gather the leaves, and then ta-da, the leaves are in a pile, so you could just vacuum them up. <laughs> you can、okay. actually vacuum. Rake. 그래서 뭔가 이렇게 확 긁어 모으는 모으는 그 동작을 말하기도 해. 그것만 말을 하는 건 아니고. So it is rakes. Okay, let's go to number four. Number four. A goose landed on the pond. Farmer Brown looked up and saw many blank flying around. Goose. And if there was a flock of it. Uh.、Mm -hmm. Or more than one, then it is called geese. Geese. Bah! Bah! Is that a chicken? Okay, you're gonna irregular plural nouns. Good shit. Geese. G e e s e. And, so many e's. Mm-hmm. And there is one blue. I mean five. Number five. There is one blue fish in the pond. A many red blank. Fish doesn't need to change. Fish like there is one blue fish in the pond. A many red fish. See, it makes sense. Fish가 이렇게 여러 개 이렇게 때로 지어져 있으면 뭐라 부르지 걔네를? There are a lot of fish. A lot of fish, a group of fish. 가 있으면은 그걸 뭐라고 또 부르지? 에. 네가 아까 새들은 birds가 여러 마리 a group of birds가 있으면은 a flock of birds라고 했지. 그처럼 fish를 부르는 말도 있는데요. 혹시 알아? 음. A school of. Oh. 그렇지. A school. I forgot about that. Okay. Number six, Farmer Brown got a new mailbox. It matches the other mail. I mean, other blank on the street. Mailbox is for plural noun, of course, is mailboxes. M A I L B, no space B O X E S boxes. Boxes.、Mm -hmm. And let's turn it over. Sorry. 
It's upside down. 다운선을 좀 아우 인쇄가 잘안 됐다. Uh huh. So let's do it. It's another story. One, one, two, three. Okay, let's start with the title. Moving Liberty. The Liberty Bell is a symbol of freedom. It once hung at Liberty Bell Pavili pa Pavilion. Pavilion. That is in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Okay. 잘했어. It was recently moved to a new home that was 200 yards away. Why was the bell moved? There are plans to rebuild Liberty Bell Pavilion. 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 그 발음이 좀 힘들지? Pavilion. Mm -hmm. Visitors can now see the bell at Liberty Bell Center. Although the bell's new home is only a short distance away, the move was tricky. Movers had to make sure that no harm was done to the bell's famous crack. They attached tiny alarms to the bell. The alarms would have sounded if the move had damaged the bell's crack. In Liberty Bell, the Liberty Bell has a long history. In 1752, the bell was brought to Philadelphia from England. It cracked soon after its arrival. It was recast twice during its early years. However, the bell cracked again between 1817 and 1846. When and why it cracked remains a mystery. Mm -hmm. 잘했어. 자, question number one. <coughs> Where can visitors now see the Liberty Bell? Hmm. 어디서 볼수 있지? Uh, I'll read you the part where it gives me a clue. Visitors can now see now see the bell at the Liberty Bell Center. Bell Center. The Liberty Bell Center. Number two. What is another title for the story? A. Ring that bell. B. A tricky move. C. Cracking the bell. D. Sound the alarm. Mm -hmm. Let's see the story again. I, I think it's a tricky move. It talks about how tricky and how hard. And, you know, they're talking about mostly a lot about tricky moves about the bell. And when it moved and didn't move. So I think it's... A tricky move. Pretty? Look, I have evidence. The move was tricky. A line is there. It's although the bell's two, new home three, is only four, a short distance away, six, the move seven, was eight, tricky. Eight. It's on line ten. Pretty? 이거를 옮기는 게 굉장히 까다롭고 힘든 거지, like, 그치? Uh, like, uh, for... 프라이크 안 가게 하기 위해서, 그치? Uh -huh. So, it is a tricky move. And then, number three. According to the map below, all the buildings are blank of on the street. 네, 학교, my school does does not have a good printer. 학교는 프린터를 별로... No. Look at that! Look at it! But I managed to find it. Walnut Street is way down here. Okay, it's printed enough for me to read. And these are the building. So, Walnut. If it goes straight up, then it is north. And I gotta underline my evidence. Evidence means clue, so we're gonna underline Walnut Street and then I'm gonna do three. And then number four. 
Which one of these statements is most likely true? The bell's crack got bigger during the move. A. B. The alarms went off during the bell's move. C. The bell is now in England. D. The move was a success. I think is the alarms went off during the bell's move. Because look at this. The bells didn't sound, and it said it was re. However, the bell cracked again between eighteen seventeen and eighteen forty six. But if it like cracked or got damaged, the alarms must have sound sounded. But I think the alarms went off during the bell's move. Maybe a thief snuck into the you know box, and then he like broke it, and then he turned the alarms off before he did it, and then he kept the bell still, and then he like broke it and got a piece of it. Yeah. Then he ran away. Okay, so the alarms went off during the bell's move.、Uh, that is number four. Okay, five. After reading the li- last paragraph, that means story, like the line. You can conclude that recast means blank. Recast is right over here. It was recast twice during its early years. And as you see, recast like this. It was fixed twice during its early years. That makes the most sense. Built again. Built again. It was built again. <laughs> It was built twice during its early years. I think that makes the most sense. Oh, yeah. 그래서 우리가 다리나 이런 팔 같은 거 부러졌을 때뭐 한다 그러지? Cast. 그렇지. Cast. The cast is different from the recast. Like cast. 그렇지. Recast는 그러니까 한번 그렇게 해줬던 거를 다시 또 re 다시 한다는 거잖아. 그렇지. Re means do it again. Cast is build. But if you add re, that means do it again. So build again. 그렇지. 근데 원래 cast는 뭔가 throw something far away. 그렇지. That's all for today. 오늘은 그게 다이고 또 다음에 봐요. Bye. We'll see you next time. Bye.